Survivors of trafficking, they have encountered unspeakable harm. And they are some of the strongest, most enterprising, most resilient people on the planet. When a woman comes out of trafficking, she is not thriving. She has complex PTSD. She has had years of lack of education, lack of medical care, non-existent emotional care. She might even have warrants or felonies on her record. It's compounded by society's perception of her. If you imagine all of these places are kind of like a pit where she keeps falling, falling, falling deeper. We as believers, have been called to have the same heart as Christ, to hear what he hears, and he hears the cries of the poor and the marginalized, the exploited and the downtrodden. We have to work to pull her out of that pit. Then we can help her rebuild her life in order that she can thrive. At Elijah Rising, we exist to help combat trafficking in all of its forms. And we do that through a number of ways. First and foremost, our foundation is prayer. We want to make sure that we are combating this from a spiritual level. So we can't do this work without prayer. It makes this work sustainable. And then practically, we go out into all the places where we know women and even children are being sold. We have a robust awareness program, which includes van tours. One thing we've noticed with illicit massage businesses especially showing you, telling you exactly what is happening behind the closed doors of our city. These places are out in the open, in neighborhoods, in strip centers, and it's just embedded in the landscape of our city. A lot of people say after going on the van tours, wow, I didn't know this was happening so close to my community. I didn't know this was happening so prevalent in my neighborhood. And then of course we do intervention. We love doing outreach into some of the hardest locations because we know that that's where the enemy likes to do his greatest work. So that looks like our teams just sweeping the streets, looking for women who are being exploited, explaining to them there is a way out, and if you will lend to me your trust, I can get you out of this situation. And then on the back end, we also provide what we call restorative care. She can stay in our home for up to two years, and it's an intensive, holistic program designed to meet all of her needs at no cost to the survivor. When a woman comes in to the Elijah Rising Safe Home, she might have an array of vulnerabilities that have led her to be trafficked in the first place, one of them being legal issues. So we provide free legal services for her. Another way that we support her healing journey is through our medical and dental program. We have to address her physical health first before we can ever address her emotional, let alone spiritual health. One of the most impactful services that we offer is clinical therapy. We have a psychologist on staff, and we also work with a team of psychiatrists, counselors, and we even offer inner healing, which is like a spiritual dynamic. Another one of our services that's incredibly powerful is our education, whether it be literacy, math and science, financial planning. Our aim is to keep developing those skills. We also provide robust services around addiction recovery. And once she graduates our program, she continues on with that wraparound care. We address a myriad of needs in order to fully support her journey into healing. It is a joy, it's a privilege for us to be able to come alongside, not as a rescuer. I am here to advocate for you, to remind you who you are, to remind you of your identity, your worth, your value, your capability. What I would tell anyone that's in my situation, you have people out there that will believe you. You have people out there that will fight with you and for you, but you have to be willing to make the first step because no one can make that step for you. It's going to be hard, but it's gonna be so worth it because you gain so much more than what you lose. At Elijah Rising, we are here to call the church to action. There's a whole generation of women who are out there who have been forgotten. The Lord sees that woman who is in the cover of darkness where nobody else knows that she's at. She is the one who's saying, God, if you're real, send somebody tonight. And we just get to be the people who say yes to Jesus, who 
get to reveal that glimpse of who the Lord is to her. 